I'm gonna clean these shrimp. Should I put the whole bag in there? Okay, yeah. We're gonna cook the whole bag. So, hey y'all, what's up? It's the Hills, aka Flawlessly Cut, and I am back with another video. If you're new, what's up? How are you? If you're not new, how you been? Um, so I just got home from work and then I stopped at the grocery store and we finna eat real good tonight because yeah, we finna eat real good. I'm finna switch it up. I'm doing a seafood bowl. I did a seafood bowl last week. Um, but it was small. We just had crab legs, potatoes, and shrimp. But this time, oh, damn, what happened to the potatoes? He ate all those? I don't know. But this time, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to do something that I haven't really seen anybody do. And I don't know, it sounds good. So I'm going to cook shrimp with crab legs, corn, and turkey neck. <laughs> I mean... It sounds good, right? Because I didn't want to do turkey sausage. And I really wanted some turkey neck. But I was like, I don't feel like cooking greens or cabbage. So we just going to put it in the seafood bowl. And we're going to see how it turned out. And I bet you it'll be fine. And I bet I'll put you on. Anyway, so. Enough about that. Now we over here. I really need to get some promo shirts. Because I haven't posted on my business page. I mean, I be posting stories and stuff, but I haven't posted reels or any content for real. My bad. Any content for real. Of the products I have made, well, some of the products that I have made already. Um, this is like my little shoot area. I like to record and get content right here because it's by the window and I got my ring light. And y'all, look at my ring light pathetic i know so um let me see what was i about to say oh i just got some new um ring lights ordered i got the soft box this time um so those should be on the way um i got a trip coming up oh my god y'all like this time next week, your girl will be out the country. I'm not even going to say where I'm going. Y'all just going to have to see when y'all see, okay? And I'm probably most likely going to be recording on that trip. Um, Even though I want it to be like a really relaxing, no phone, just in the moment type of trip. Um, I might get a little clips here and there. There was that other man. I was looking for that the other day. But anyways, so... So yeah, y'all, we finna get the cooking. I really want to take a shower first and then cook so I could just eat and relax. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We finna hop in the shower and I'll see y'all in a little bit. And then I also, um, whatever, whatever, we'll just come back. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all, so we are back. Um, we finna get the cooking. I just got out the shower. Um, we finna get to cooking, okay? Um, the lighting is kind of weird. I would get my ring light, but as y'all could see, it's down for the count. So we got the corn. I got some unsalted butter. Um, I have to get some more lemon pepper because I ran out. We got the turkey neck. The shrimp. And the crab which is really good y'all like i got four clusters for um for 15 dollars with my kroger card uh 17 dollars with my kroger card my bad money let me say these bags because i ran out so so yeah, we finna start cooking. I got my pot. I really don't know if everything's gonna fit in here, but the crab legs don't take long to cook. So I'm finna put the turkey necks in here first. Um, mm, it's finna be fine. Rinse these off. I saw this new sandwich on um Instagram a veggie sandwich like it was so fire. I toasted the bread 
uh, with some avocado. I put pickles on mine, some onions, tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers. It was so fun. It was so fun. Yeah, let's season this water up. Bring y'all over here. Oh, and um, I started juicing. I drink a lot of um, raw juices, fruit juices and vegetable juices and stuff like that because it really don't be shit to eat. So now a juice, a fresh fruit juice is a meal these days. Um, hold on. So I got this from the last time. I ended up baking. I ended up baking um, or putting the seafood in the oven the last time because the crab legs that I had bought were already cooked. So I just put them in the oven and I bought these and didn't even use it. So we're going to use it this time. Um, what's the date on this? And then I got this. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, just have to make sure. I think I should put some more water in here. Put some more water in here. Okay. There's that. I'm going to let the turkey neck cook a little bit by itself first before I add the corn. Is this spicy? I hope it is. Can you have too much seafood seasoning? What this thing say? Oh, this boils four pounds. Well, bitch, we ain't got four pounds, so let me not pour the, all of this in here. Anyways, I'm gonna put this in here though. Kaboot! Oop, I made a mess. Why would I do that? I just scrubbed my motherfucking stove. And look, look, look. Just doing shit. Y'all, I'm really trying to stop cussing. Got red seafood juice everywhere. I'm really trying to stop cussing. Because I, I was the type that never really used to. Ooh. Like, I was only cussed around, like, my friends. Like, I was very respectful. I didn't cuss around boys that I like or, like, my elders and stuff. But lately, I've just been a sailor these days. Anyways. This is going to be so fun because I'm still going to add my own seasoning. Yes, ma'am. I really don't want no pepper in there. I don't know why I'm adding pepper, but we're going to add some good old garlic powder. Did I run out of garlic cloves? Yeah, I guess I'm out of garlic cloves. We got the garlic powder. Onion powder. Oh yes, it's about to be so good. And I really don't want to add salt to anything, but just a little. Because you know, turkey neck already salty. Turkey is already salty. Um, oh, I was about to say, I don't have no onion, but girl. I don't have no onion, but girl, I got some onion, and I got some cucumber salt. I'm going to try to dip my cucumbers in my seafood sauce later. And then we're going to get ready. But I forgot I bought a bag of onions from Aldi's. That came in real clutch. Good old cutting board. And then I got this nice-ass knife from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Well, the Dollar 25 Tree store. So... We finna cut this onion. <laughs> Woo! That thing's seasoned. 
Okay, so I didn't cut them up too small. They like this in slices. We're going to add these to the bowl. Let me turn y'all. Turn. Whatever. We're going to add these to the bowl, I'm so glad I took a shower like that woke me up because y'all I was so tired today like on my lunch at work your girl was falling asleep at the table honey I was trying to hide it I ain't want nobody looking at me I was trying to hide behind my hand but I didn't want to put my face down on the table because I do work in the hospital and ill okay this really it's probably too much onion so I'm gonna save some of these onions for the sauce This should be enough. Make sure. Yeah, this should be enough. So we're gonna say the rest of these. I'm gonna chop these up smaller and put them in the sauce. Let me bring y'all with me. I'm not gonna cut them too small as I cut them too small so that we can uh, kind of scoop it up with our seafood or whatever. And is that enough? That should be enough for the sauce. Put the rest of this up. Later. Okay, y'all, so we have our food boiling. Well, it's not boiling, but y'all know what I'm saying. Um, then I'm going to add the corn. Then I'm going to add the crab legs first and then the shrimp last. So, in the meantime, between time, while I'm letting this turkey cook a little bit, where the top of it? the top i don't know i don't know so in the meantime between time y'all i'm gonna record some promo videos and post stuff to post um i would record let y'all see me do that but i'm gonna be taking the pictures and videos off of my phone because my camera as y'all know is a little jank it's missing a screw on the back of the viewfinder um yeah, I don't know. I might turn on the camera. Oh, no. Actually, I can't because I need a new memory card and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to have to come back and see y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all. So, I recorded like a little bit. Um, I got my camera set up like back there. Uh, <coughs> and after I put the phone down. But after I put the phone down. I ended up going ahead and putting the corn in there so it could cook with the uh, turkey necks or whatever. Um, I put the corn in there before I, uh, before I got to a boil. Boiling and steaming like damn. Um, it's been in there for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes before I add the shrimp. So actually while I'm prepping the shrimp and stuff, I'm going to let it cook. And so by the time I get done getting the shrimp together, <coughs> it should be ready to go. I'm looking for, I'm looking, oh, there you go. For the little piece for my tripod to put y'all back on here. Got y'all back on the tripod. 
And we finna stand right here. Put y'all back up here. <laughs> that stuff is really strong. What the fuck? Get this bow. I'm gonna just clean this bow back out. Y'all, so the other day, I um, I tried to make some buffalo cauliflower, and I watched the video on YouTube, and this guy, like, made a batter, made a batter for his cauliflower or whatever with flour, water, and um, milk. And well, I use, like, oat milk. I use coconut flour. But my shit did not turn out right. And then I was looking in the comments to see if I was the only one. And everybody was talking about how good it was. And how much they people loved it. And I'm like, okay, something ain't right. Maybe coconut flour ain't... Maybe I ain't used the right kind of flour, okay? Because maybe coconut flour just wasn't, 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 wasn't it. Because when I took them things out the oven... Uh, the flour, the batter was still kind of soft. Like, it was no crisp to it. So, I went to the comments to see if anybody else had the same problem. Because, think about it. <coughs> you make a batter a batter made out of flour and you put it in the oven. How did thing supposed to get crispy? Is it just me? Did I do something wrong? Like, I followed the directions. But it just didn't make sense to me. I knew I should have fried it. So, I was disappointed. I ain't even eat. I cooked some uh, sweet potatoes and some, I cooked sweet potatoes and asparagus to go with it. So that's all I ate with the, was the asparagus and the sweet potatoes because, uh-uh, that shit was not right. So anyway, we're going to clean these shrimp. Should I put the whole bag in there? Okay, yeah, we're going to cook the whole bag. Rinse these off real good. So, y'all, can we talk about, like, mindset, changing our mindsets and stuff like that? Because that's something that I've been working hard on. Like, I've changed my mindset so much. Uh, but first of all, let me just say, I've never been a negative person. I've always been very positive and bubbly and optimistic or whatever. Um... But getting in the habit, once you have one thing to complain about, it seems like you just have all type of things to complain about. And once you get in the habit of complaining and stuff like that, it's like so hard to get out of that. Um, yeah, it's like so hard to get out of that. But at the same time, it's like once, once I get to a point where I realize I'm complaining too much or... I'm in a situation and I start complaining too much because I don't like to complain like I'm a positive person and stuff like that. Um, so I really don't like complaining. So once I realize that I'm complaining too much, then that mean it's time for me to bounce. Whatever the situation is, if it's a relationship, a job, an environment, anything like that, it's time for me to go once I start once I start complaining, damn. Once I start complaining too much, um, should I take the shells off? No, we're going to keep the shells on. We're going to dump this in here. Okay. It's for the time say 450. I looked at the stove like damn I had the oven on. What the fuck? Why I got the oven on? But no, it's just 450. Oh 
why y'all sit here and let me put these shrimp in here when y'all heard me say I was putting the crab legs in first? Y'all, y'all ain't good for nothing. I swear. I swear to God. That whatever those little shrimp's gonna be cooked. Look, it's already turning pink. We finna take them back out. <laughs> why y'all sit here? Why y'all sit here and watch the fat bitch jump on me? And y'all just sit there and watch me do the shit. Where the crab legs at? I'ma call y'all. Never mind. Let's rinse. Okay, now we gotta rewind. Let's rinse the crab legs off. So I feel like this ain't this isn't bad for $15, $17. Anyways, let's try this again. Round two. Now, we're gonna add, oh, it's still some shrimp in there. I'm gonna eat them, baby, they cook. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They've been in there for a good three minutes, I know. Oh, yes, baby. Ah! Ooh, that's cooked, y'all. That's cooked, honey, look at that. Oh, yeah, we finna taste that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we finna take all three of these bad boys out, baby. Mmm, cooked to perfection. <clears throat> there are no mistakes, okay? Because <laughs> we finna eat them. Now. I hope all this stuff can fit in the pot. We gonna make it fit, god damn it. Okay, we gonna let that cook for a good 10 minutes with the top. And we finna try these shrimps. I'm scared. Oh, baby, that's fire. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, y'all. That seasoning and that juice is so good. And spicy, just how I like it. Mmm. Y'all want one? Oh, it's like... It's so good, y'all. I'm so happy right now. What time is it? I can remember what time. I'll put the crab legs down. Yes, baby. That's so good. But anyways. <clears throat> Mmm. Last one, last one. I gotta make the sauce. Mmm. Yum. Your girl be cooking. Your girl really be cooking. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah, once I get, once I realize that I'm complaining too much, that means it's time for me to bounce. Whatever the situation is, family, friend, relationship, job, environment, it doesn't fucking matter. It's time for me to go. And that comes down to just knowing yourself. That comes down to just knowing yourself. <clears throat> me knowing myself, like I said, I know that I'm a positive person. I'm a happy person. I don't like complaining. So, I know I'm not being myself. And I even start to feel like I'm not myself. Um, complaining and stuff constantly.
Like, don't get me wrong. We be having stuff to complain about sometimes at jobs and stuff like that. But where it's like a constant and consistent problem, like, no, it's time to go, okay? Okay, y'all, uh, so. Let me get these seasonings. I need butter. I'm gonna just cook one stick of butter and we're gonna see what they do. Because I don't want anything to overcook. And it's almost time to add the shrimp. <clears throat> So we got the butter in there. I want y'all to see. Y'all don't need to see me. I just want y'all to see what I'm doing. Okay, I want y'all to see. Y'all don't need to see me. Y'all just need to see what I'm doing. So, we just got the butter in here. I know I had a fork, or maybe not. That's cool. I'm gonna use a good old spoon. So, like y'all still can't see there we go that's a little better anyways butter. so while the butter's melting we're gonna drop these in here i really wish i had garlic cloves <clears throat> we're gonna put that there so back to what I was saying. So once you realize you're complaining too much or you're not being yourself, then that means you're in a toxic environment. Like, it's not you all the time. Like, I know there might be people that's like complaining constantly, but sometimes it might not even be them. Um, they might not even be the problem. It might just be the environment just isn't good for them. And they need to take their exit. It's time for them to leave. Um, so that's why like you really can't judge people that be in a bad mood at work because you don't know what it is, like what's going on for them. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. The thing is, like trying to keep your mind right, like if it's a job or something, and like you really hate the job, it's a really negative environment. It bring your mood down every time you pull up to the motherfucker. Every time you in the car to go clock in, your mood just instantly change. Like that's something like that's a really hard situation to be in because I was just in that situation last year. I feel like that was me most of last year. Like I quit my job uh, in my first lab assistant position. I had quit that job. Like I just wasn't happy there. I quit before I had anything lined up. Um, that's a lesson within itself. But anyways, I quit and um, I'm going to add this shrimp real quick. And y'all, it's starting to look good already and all the butter haven't even melted. Okay. The crab has been in there for about 10 minutes. Almost 10 minutes. We're going to add the shrimp real quick. Put y'all right there. We're gonna add the shrimp. We're gonna put these semi pink ones in there last. <laughs> Let's get these kind of pushed into the water. Oh, everything fit in my little pot, honey. I know some of y'all was talking shit. <laughs> okay. Real good. Ooh, y'all, I just remembered it. It got turkey necks in here. Oh, I'm excited to try this shit. Hey, I might have just put y'all on. I might have just put myself on, no lie. Okay. <laughs> So excited. Oops. All right. <clears throat> That's as good as it's going to get. Where's the top? Where's the top? Gonna let that cook for a few minutes. 
the top on. We back over here with it. Back over here. I wanna taste this mug already. It looks so good. We gotta turn that heat up though, baby. Cooking too slow. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the shit right there. But um, anyways, back to what I was saying. Like, I feel like that was me all year last year. Like, I quit my job or whatever, and then um, <clears throat> I ended up working at the post office, which I absolutely did not. That's that was so undesirable. I don't want to say I hate trying to take some words out of my vocabulary, but that working at the post office was so undesirable. Like, that's a man's job. That's not for me, honey. Um, and I just really was not happy in that place. Like, every time I... And then, on top of that, it was night shift. So, I was working 5 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. And then, they could call overtime anytime they wanted, whenever they wanted. It don't matter if you got two hours left before you finna get off. They could call overtime and make you stay a full 12 hours. Um... Yeah, they could uh, call overtime and make you stay a full 12 hours. And I really did not like that. Like, y'all, I was so tired every day. It was like I would come home. <laughs> sometimes I would go straight to sleep and sometimes I couldn't. So I would be up and then I would go to sleep. By the time I wake up, it's time for me to shower and get ready. Barely get to eat. I was barely eating. Like, I lost so, so much weight working at the post office. Like, y'all, I did not like that shit. That shit was not for me. I was miserable as fuck. I was complaining all the time. Like, I was just, uh, negative Nancy. Like, I just was not myself. It was so much negative energy up in there. Like, I was not myself at all working in there. And I was complaining so much and crying, coming home. Like, that shit was so miserable. And, like, yeah, but I can say, like, that shit pushed me deeper into my spiritual practices because I would come home sometimes and meditate and just cry and, like, pray and, like, manifest with my emotions, like, because emotions is the most powerful magic. So whenever I was, like, pissed off or upset or something, like, I would try to manifest with my tears and shit. And I manifested the job that I'm at now. I manifested my position now to be back on day shift, making more money than I've ever made. And my job is just the easiest job I've ever had. And I make the most money there. And I'm on first shift. I get off work at 1.30. I do overtime if I want to, when I want to. Like, yeah. Um, but... Even with that, even me complaining and stuff so much, like... I knew, like, I didn't want to attract more shit for me to complain about. So, like, I would always come back my negative thoughts or emotion with something positive. Like, oh, well, this is only temporary. Um, you know, like, just trying to keep myself sane. Um, <clears throat> but mindset is really everything. Like, me keeping hope, me even throwing that little bit of positivity in there, landed me to where I wanted to be, and I attracted the things that I wanted towards me, even though I was in a very undesirable situation and environment. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm rambling or whatever. I can really talk a lot about spirituality and my experiences, y'all, because I've been through so much stuff. I have so much experience with a lot of stuff. And when people meet me, um, they wouldn't even expect half the stuff that I even know or like been through or dealt with and stuff like that. Oh, shit. I forgot shrimp don't take that long. I got me over here distracted and shit. Y'all gonna get fired from the job. Fired from the crew and we ain't even got to know each other that much yet. Oh, shit. Turn that shit off. Fucking my stove up. Oh, everything looks so good. Yes, ma'am. Everything is done. Everything is done. Get this sauce buster. 
Oh, that sauce is so good. All is missing is the clothes. But here's the seafood, y'all. Looking so delicious. Um, I'm gonna probably record a little clip when I take put stuff on the plate, show y'all the turkey legs and stuff, how that turned out. But I'm so excited. I'm hungry as fuck. Um I'm gonna cut up some more onions. I don't know for what, but he just texted me and asked me to cut up some onions. So we finna cut these onions up. <clears throat> I know we are gonna have a little salad on the side. Cause we had leftover salad that we made yesterday at his house. He bringing that over. And we just finna chill and relax. It's been raining all day. We both said we was tired as hell today. We, today was supposed to be a gym day. And I was like, so we're going to the gym, dot, 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 tomorrow. He was like, hell yeah. So we just going to relax and eat tonight. But anyways, I do want to tell y'all that I am running us a spiritual bath. Um, that we're going to relax. I bought some tea light candles. So I'm going to like deck the bathroom out with candles and crystals and it's still early it's only it's not even 5 30 it's like 5 20. so everything is right on time um find us something to watch and we just want to chill the rest of the night thank y'all so much for watching i will see y'all in the next video yes, baby. I'm